Hello everyone. Today we are going to implement a dynamic planet mesh generation system using geometry scripts and dynamic mesh. So here I have this refresh button. When I press the refresh button, you can see the planet is randomized. So this is not just a material or anything. This is actually the mesh. So if I go closer, you can see this is the actual mesh and I am I have implemented this system on top of my planet gravity system so therefore I can actually land on this planet and walk on it like this not just in the top side we if I start playing from here in the dark side of the planet the system will still work because the character is under the planet gravity so yeah this is what we are going to work on today you it's not necessary for you to have followed the planet gravity system or any of the systems that we have done previously in order to follow the dynamic mesh and geometry mesh part that we are going to do today i have just put the planet gravity system on this system only to demonstrate the planet so yeah let's see how to do this today and it's not just for this planet actually i can select the other planet and do randomizing as well like this see? okay before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done in my channel. To the date, there are over 1700 videos. For each video, project file is accessible once you become a member. So feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link in description below. Right, now this is the same map that I implemented the planet using the Voxel plugin. Now let me just duplicate this. I'll call it uh dynamic mesh planets open it now here let me remove the voxel world from this because i don't want it anymore for this part also for now we don't need this planet manager as well oh we do need that for the planet gravity component Okay, I leave that. All right. Now the next step is here. I'm gonna edit this BP planet. Before that, I'll make a duplicate, just in case if something goes wrong, I have a copy of previous blueprint. Okay. Now here, let me open the blueprint. So in order to use. Uh, dynamic meshes I have to enable this plugin if you don't know how to open the plugins here settings plugins we need to enable geometry script plugin and once you enable that you will have restart so hit restart all right now uh, wait let me go back to the dynamic mesh planets map so yeah here again open this planet blueprint so in order to use dynamic mesh this has to be a child of a uh, generated dynamic mesh actor but as you can see here it's currently a child of actor class so we can go to the class settings and generated dynamic mesh actor select that as the parent so this will reparent this actor now you can see here a new component is there dynamic mesh component okay now this uh this sphere that we have by default this planet sphere this is something that i had before this is nothing just a static mesh of a sphere so this is going to be our water body so let me just make a simple material 
color and make it blue so that we can see it as water when we look at the planet from space right okay now it's blue so now let's work on our planet land so for that here in generated dynamic mesh actor there is an event called on rebuild generated mesh so in order to do anything to the generated uh, the dynamic mesh we have to use this function and use this target mesh component now here first i'll uh, in order to create a planet i need a simple sphere so i'll do append sphere box like this and since we are coming from this planet blueprint we already have this radius in kilometers so i'll multiply it by thousand to make it meters and another hundred to make it centimeter and i'll use that as the radius and then steps maybe let's have something like 10 by 10 by 10 yeah and compile now see we already have this in in gray color you can see this is the generated mesh right and it's overlapping with the mesh that was already existing our water mesh but once we add uh, mountains it will look fine okay so how do we add mountains for that we can do this on to this mesh we can apply pearly noise to mesh okay now we don't need to define a selection because we are applying to the whole mesh but we can define options so let's make options and here a uh, uh, base layer can I split this yeah okay so as the base layer magnitude now since we are working with planetary scale we might need something large so let's try something like no let's just see how it looks now no not much of a difference yeah so how about 50,000 yeah now you see we have some mountains and we have see we now we are getting some shape but it kind of looks like solid lines mostly that should be because we don't have enough polygons here so to fix that here we can apply tessellation uh, like this let's try this apply selective tessellation uh, level maybe five and yeah let's try this okay now we have a lot more but this is uh, well, kind of a planet but this is not the look i want so we need to have something like uh, continents not like this so i think i have to reduce the frequency let's try something like this yeah, 
Now this is much better. Okay. Now we are getting some shape of a planet. We have some mountains and water. Great. So, for, as I said, I'm not going to create a mesh, create a material. So let me just apply some planet mesh that we already had with the from the voxel plugin this one i'll apply this one this material to the dynamic mesh okay great all right now the next step is implementing a function to randomize this so for that here this will not randomize if we always give the same value to this random seat and also we have this base layer frequency shift as well so maybe let's do something like this let me add a reroute node from here here and convert this to a macro because if i want to apply pearly noise again maybe in a different scale i can reuse this so that's why i want to convert this to a, another function yeah planetary Berlin nice okay now we don't need this right now here I'll promote these values as parameters fifty thousand let me set the default values 0 0 2 still working yeah <clears throat> and uh, how do we deal with randomization here I'll add another parameter randomize planet So if this is true, uh, yeah, let's do a select, select it. If randomized planet is true, then I'll select a random uh, integer and range something like something in between no random integer just integer something like this but I don't think this would work here let me make it true okay so we need a function another function to regenerate the mesh so for that i'll add another custom event refresh planet oh uh, maybe regenerate no, doesn't matter and here i'll make it call in editor and I'll add a boolean refresh and here I will only execute the rest if refresh is true so that we can prevent calling this again and again whenever I make a change to this blueprint now here I'll set refresh to true and here once we make the change i'll set refresh back to false 
so it will refresh only once all right did i make it call in editor here that is it here oh it's not appearing why all right i just making this uh mark as refresh is not enough wait i'll call this generate and then mark for mesh rebuild now it should work yeah see now it works but still it's not randomizing i think there is a small scale randomizing see but that's not enough so to achieve better randomizing here we can do this random unit vector yeah get the random unit vector and we can multiply this with the output we get here then use it as this input right now if i refresh mm -hmm. uh, no. okay let's try a bigger value yeah see now we have enough randomization great okay so here now we have the planet okay now let's test uh, gravity let's go close enough to the planet yeah it's going through the planet surface so i guess collisions are not working right i think we have to enable let's see it's already blocked all let's try this option complex collision as simple let's enable complex collision as well Ah, oh, yeah see now we got collisions okay great so in the C we can see a bit of a because the sphere that I have used for the C is not high poly enough that's why we see these lines like it's not smooth the C surface so you can replace it with actually a high poly sphere and one more thing so if you need more fine grain details on this islands or in the land you can again apply this Berlin noise with a different scale that means like this so magnitude you may reduce it and the frequency you can increase it so now if i refresh now you see this uh, small scale details in the show line so yeah i think that's enough for today i'm gonna stop this episode for now right here and in the next upcoming episodes let's look into how to create a proper material for the landscape that works with this planet and also of water material and also then we will work on how to populate the planet with foliage animals grass all those things as well so yeah thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in patreon page Link would be in the description below and see you in another episode. Goodbye.